Hi guys, this week let's fix this annoying issue that happens when you upload your videos to YouTube that YouTube messes up your color. It's especially annoying when you're working with something with high saturation, for example, the sunset. So this issue basically boils down to color space differences between your video editing software and the browser where you're watching your videos from. Um, let me try and explain it with this diagram. This is the CLAB 1931 diagram. It's a flat representation of all the colors the human eye can see. And inside this uh, diagram you can see this red triangle. This is the DCI-P3 color space, which is the, which is the same color space that my MacBook Pro uses when I'm editing in softwares like Premiere or Resolve. And inside this red triangle is the smaller triangle, this blue one, which is the sRGB color space, which is the color space that is uh, common on online videos. For example, Chrome uses this color space to show your YouTube videos with. And here is the core of our issue. On our editing softwares we see these white colors, but when we look at it from YouTube, the colors are um, limited. So especially the saturated colors are pushed back, we're losing a lot of saturation in the most saturated colors. And then in the middle of these triangles you can see these two dots. For each of these triangles, uh, this is uh, called a white point. And this is what the color space considers to be white. And you can see that the sRGB color space, which is by the way same, pretty much the same thing as Rexvan 09, uh, this sRGB color space has its white point slightly shifted towards the magenta spectrum. And this is why our skin tones, for example, end up looking a bit more reddish when we upload them to Chrome. Because there's no working solution natively in Premiere Pro and Resolve for the issue, we're gonna create our own lookup table that will limit the colors in our editing software so it will look exactly the same as it looks on YouTube on your Chrome browser. Uh, in theory, this is easy because it's easy to create these color space transform lookup tables, but in practice it's a bit more difficult because every browser looks different from each other. For example, Chrome browser looks different from Safari and Safari looks different from Firefox. And by the, fox, by the way, <laughs> by the fox, uh, Firefox doesn't limit your colors at all. So if you want to see the same colors on your editor and uh, as they are on YouTube, just uh, open up your video on U uh, YouTube on Firefox. But in this video I want to concentrate on the Chrome browser because that's by far the most popular browser there is online. So it's most likely that someone is going to see your video on a Chrome browser. And to do this lookup table we're going to use the same method as uh, we did on our last YouTube video where we created lookup tables from the Instagram filters. And if you want to see why does this method work you can go and see that video, uh, the previous video. But in this video I'm just going to show you how to do it. So the first step is that you open up this hidden video on my YouTube channel and then you put it on 4K resolution and you put it on full screen. Then you take a screen capture of your uh, screen. Step 2. You open up your screen capture in your image editing software. Here I'm using Photoshop but you can probably use whatever image uh, editing software you can find. And in the image editing software you carefully crop the a colorful square in the center of the image or center of the screen capture and you carefully crop it and then you downscale it to 27 pixels. And if you have this hard edge option, click that. And save it as a BNG file. Step number three, go to this website where you can download this LUT generating software. And with this software, open up the image that we created in Photoshop and bam, you have uh, accurate lookup table to limit the colors exactly how Chrome is limiting your uh, video colors on your browser. And then how to use this lookup table? Well in Premiere and in Firefox it's simple. Just apply an adjustment layer on top of your footage on everything you uh, have been editing with and then apply this lookup table. And now you can see how your colors will look when you upload them to Chrome browser. And don't forget to turn this lookup table and this adjustment layer off when you start exporting your videos or otherwise you will have the limiting happen to your video twice. On Resolve it's a bit more difficult, you first need to install the lookup table to Resolve. 
and then you go to the color management tab and here on the 3D LUT monitoring uh, drop down you uh, choose this uh, lookup table and now you have the same colors on your uh, video viewport as you will have when you upload your video to the Chrome browser. And on Resolve you don't need to turn this lookup table off because this is just a monitoring lookup table and it will not affect the export. Then you could or you should ask which color space should you color grade your footage into, the sRGB color space or the DCI-P color space? Well, my answer is color grade to both. And that's simply because you don't have power over what kind of a display people are watching your videos from. So because there's a kind of a mixture of these displays uh, floating around, so you need to make your footage look good on both. So simultaneously, at least make sure that it doesn't look odd in either of these color spaces. And below this video, you can go and download this lookup table that we just created in this uh, video. And this works well if you have a DCI-P color space uh, monitor and you're looking your videos through the Chrome browser. But if you're using some other technology, for example, Adobe RGB, or maybe you're watching your videos from some other uh, editing, uh, some other browser, for example, the Internet Explorer, you need to create your own lookup table following the uh, simple steps in this video. And remember, if you're using the sRGB uh, technology as your display, your videos will probably look quite the same in your uh, editing software as they will in uh, YouTube. But you can still try to say, follow the same uh, principles or the simple steps if you want to make perfectly sure that your color grading is just on top, even though you might not have that big of a difference in, in your editing. Anyway. Subscribe to the channel to see more content like this where we talk about color space and I'm trying to do my best to explain these relatively complicated uh, topics in a simple manner. And uh, I'm going to be talking more about color grading and uh, well, color management and filmmaking in general in this channel. So subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.